Hello, my lovelies! My name is Lo, and I know your first question would be Lo, are you sure you want to do another Nilathak run video again? And the answer to that is yes, because I have a new setup of the gear and I really really wanted to try it and I wanted to try it with something difficult. So the first thing I will show you is this amulet that I crafted because I needed more FCR and so luckily from the five amulets I rolled um, I actually got lightning and FCR and then with the gloves we are at 125 cast rate 262 magic find and around 25k lightning damage but I have full resistances which is the best thing ever and now the snakes will suck I am happy to try this and I went and did a few runs maybe I did around I wanna say 50 to 60 runs with this kind of setup with this and then I really wasn't getting any drops, so I swapped only the gloves. So I lowered down the faster cast rate and because they are max, I upped the magic find to be a little bit above 300, just 302. And I started getting some drops, so... We start with the keys again. As always, this time I think I got 11 keys total. I, I'm showing you this because I leveled up here to level 91. Pretty exciting. Most of it is from Nilathak, anyway. And then, believe me or not, I do actually get those keys. I am showing you the actual clips. You can see that the time up there is different every time. Sometimes it's evening, sometimes it's morning. And then I'm actually showing you the kills that he is dropping them and... If anyone is thinking that I'm lying, that I'm getting like 10 plus keys per 100 runs, I am not. <laughs> For sure I am getting that many keys. And sometimes I'm actually getting the double keys, so this is pretty exciting. I'm trading them for runes directly, because I don't really wanna kill the ubers, and this is the double keys, and get the torches, and you usually lose money from the torches. And then the actual drops, starting with this Bucky Helm. I'm excited as an Amazon always to have a Valky Helm. Unfortunately, it's very, very low. The next drop is a drop from my curse. And it's the War Belt, which is the Immortal King's Belt. The next thing is Kraken Shell, which is the Leviathan. Uh, when I have this setup, I pass through here to open the sparkly chest and this champion boss group dropped the flying axis, Gimmer Shred. Then we have kind of a double drop, the Necro Shield, the Succubus Skull is Bone Flame. And the gloves are laying on hands, I didn't have scrolls to show you. And then we have a ring and a grunt charm. Very exciting. And it's a skiller. The ring is awful. But the grunt charm is a skiller nonetheless, even though it's not that used. And then we have a Thresher, that's my fourth, that's been dropped from Nilathak for the past two videos and now this one, third video. So for around 350-400 runs, I, this is my fourth <laughs> Reaper's Doll, so that's exciting. I sell them to Charcy at this point, nobody wants to buy them. Thank you all for watching, the next 
area that I will do or the next boss that I have planned is the only boss that I have not covered. I never kill him, it's Bale. I don't like to go kill Bale because you need to wait for the waves and it's kind of risky. But now I have full resistances and okay stats and have good damage. So I really want to try and do 100 runs of Bale. So the next video is Bale and what he will drop for those 100 runs. Unfortunately, 100 runs would take a while. So give me a few days, right? And I will see you in the next one. Bye!